G'day, I'm Kionra from Kionra Music and in this video I am not doing song timber at all, in any way, funny that. So what I am going to do is I've, I'm trying to create a demo track for one of my singing students who is uh, preparing to audition and uh, for a, a pretty big gig, uh, it's a classical bit and uh, so I'm going to sing, you are going to hear my dry vocals, hear the other type of singing that I've done for predominantly most of my life, so there may be a few wonky notes, <laughs> bear with me, when I've sung in choirs, many many people, wonky note here or there gets mostly hidden, but this time round you're going to hear it dry, and I haven't sung this piece for some years, so I only started having a, a few practices earlier today, so wonky notes may happen. Uh, I can't play the backing track, that would be copyright, um, So, but I, am, I can use it for educational purposes for my student. So uh, if you want to uh, hear what it sounds like, I will put a link in the clicky bits in the description below to someone else's video that they've done on this. It is Lacrimosa um, from Mozart's Requiem. Uh, if you're interested. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and do some vocals. You can see and hear what my other gig is when I'm not creating songs for Song Timber. Thought I'd share because I've been really busy. I have to do this today, so no other Song Timberish stuff. If you want to do listen to other Song Timberish stuff, check out the clicky bit at the end, my whole playlist of Song Timber. And while you're doing clicky bits, do the like thing and the share and subscribe and you know the stuff. All right, so I'm going to do some huh, more vocals. No cremosa ti esila quare sorget ex fa vir la I forgot to mention at the start, it's in Latin and I'm only singing the alto part because um, uh, the, the, my singing student has sung in the past soprano but the issue is that as we get older our voices change and I think because she hasn't sung for so long the soprano part in this would be a little bit of a, um, a jump because it would be uh, it's really, really high. It's and it goes higher. <laughs> um, so I think she might struggle with that. I think alto would be a little bit safer. And um, choirs tend to need more altos. Just saying. So uh, look, I'm gonna splice it up just roughly. It's an educational tool. It's a guide. But I think my student will benefit from it. Um, this is what I kind of do for my singing students. I go the extra mile, but I found having a door and knowing how to use one has been such a great tool to be able to use and get backing tracks or to sing along and be able to get the notes right. Yes, I will be using Melodyne, absolutely, because I need my singing student to pitch the notes correctly. So 
I do kind of a karaoke track. Um, I'll also do one to straight piano notes as well. Uh, just of this part, just to get the notes in. Um, my singing student hasn't got a piano. <laughs> She's got a mobile phone with a piano app on it. And look, why not? You shouldn't have to buy stuff you can't afford or, or you know, don't have. Um, everyone should have the same opportunities in my book. Um, I have got those things, so I'm going to use them to my best ability. And fingers crossed, um, I can help her out in the short time there is before auditions coming up. I won't mention what they are or who they're for. Um, other than to say that this Mozart done this piece, it's old and available to everyone if you are into uh, Mozart's Requiem number six, La Crimosa. Uh, and that was the alto part, sung okay-ish. As I said, I haven't sung it for years. Picked it up this morning and went, hmm, I vaguely remember this. So I gave it a shot. Look, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's totally not song timber, but maybe um, this will inspire you to listen to different genres. It doesn't have to be classical, but give your ears a break and have a break from song timber. If you get into the crunchy part, the, the business end of song timber song, take a step back. I've actually appreciated doing something else today. So, uh, you know, it's okay to do that. And at any time you're making music or doing anything in life, if you get to a point where it's like, oh, I've really got to do this, take a step back, take a break. So on that happy note, until then and a bit more, I've got to fix this track and get this video out for you guys. It's getting late. It's my dinner time now. <laughs> so I better get cracking. And uh, look, thanks for joining me. Do the clicky bits and I'll see you next time. <sighs> water. Drink of water. <laughs>